Mama's Marmalade, uh, fantastic set. Um, uh, first off, uh, could you could you guys introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, I'm Rich Hennessy. I play the banjo. <coughs> uh, Curtis Sorry. Bordage. I'm Lily Sexton. Uh, Mitch Bordage. Sean Davis. Uh, how did you guys get your start? Uh, how did you form as a, as a band? Hmm. Funny thing. <laughs> um, Mitch and I actually met first. Uh, we started playing guitars together, right? We were in college and things, so. When we split for the summer, um, unbeknownst to the other, I, play, I picked up the banjo and he picked up the mandolin. So when we got back to school in the fall, it seemed like very natural that we had a jam together, you know? And um, that naturally went down sort of a bluegrassy path-ish. <laughs> so we decided a fiddle player would be good to add. Um, then we had different family members playing bass, so obviously we've always had a bassist. We got the Brothers Bordage here. And, um, you know, once you're at that point, you kind of just had to run it out with a guitar. So by then it was like, let's just do a thing. Yeah. And that was four years four ago. Four years now. ago, yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I hear a lot of different like influences in your music. I mean, like, there's definitely some like jammy <clears throat> tendencies and mm -hmm. uh, just like traditional bluegrass and a little old timey throwing in. Yep. But it, I, I guess who, who are you, some of your biggest influences? Uh, personally or as a, as a band? Oh, you, you guys can personally like, like talk about your influences or uh, well, I mean, how, 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 how that impacts your playing in the band. I mean, we all like bluegrass. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I know that Rich and I, when we started playing, we played a lot of like the Grateful Dead on our instruments and fish and stuff like that. So then people were like the jammy kind of ness comes out. Um, but I mean, like really, we really like anything. We love Simon and Garfunkel for like mm -hmm. the singer songwriter kind of stuff. Um, good old rock and roll blues. I don't know. I'd say mm -hmm. Simon Garfunkel is like my biggest influence in terms of like Simon Garfunkel and Norman Blake for songwriting are like my my big and John Hartford. I'm a huge John Hartford. Person. I love Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix, <coughs> and, and like, I remember I saw Tony Rice play guitar for the first time, and I was like, oh man, I want to bring some of that rock and roll energy to acoustic music, and his playing seems so intense, and so I fell in love with it. Hmm. I guess like the first person I ever looked up to and wanted to model my technique after was probably Larry Graham, mm -hmm. like Sly and the Family Stone. It really runs the gamut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think that just adds to the group. And you can hear it in, in just the music. Peripheral. Um, one thing I, I really enjoyed about your performance was was the the vocal harmonies. So how do you guys develop those? Oh, lots of time. Um, friendship. <laughs> Lots of friendship, friendship. really. Um, I was a classically trained vocalist before I came uh, into bluegrass, and um, so you know we talk about breath control and like we slow everything down really, 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 and let's just like go literally note by note. And um, it's a it's a process. You got to put your time in, um, but it's like you know the difference between a vocal harmony that's almost there and a vocal harmony that's all the way there is you wouldn't think that it's that big of a difference but it is huge it's like worlds apart so we've been working on that a lot this past year especially going into this next album oh, next album oh yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, there, 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 there you go my next question so, so uh, you're working on a new album uh, can you tell me a little bit about that yeah yeah, we're going to North Fire. We're going to go spend three days there, and I've heard amazing things about yeah. North Fire out in Amherst, and uh, we've got a few days set aside. We're just going to go live there for like 10 hours at a time, and uh, we've just been spending every, you know, practice that we've had leading up to it just working on new stuff. Um, one of the songs, the second song we did tonight actually is going to be off that album. Oh, uh, almost. And the actually, the middle, middle four, three. The middle, the middle three, three are going to be on the record. On the album. <laughs> Do you have a title yet? No. no. That's the hardest part. Naming an album is never easy. It's really it's really yeah. yeah. It, it sort of has to find you, right? It yeah. sort of does, yeah. It's like band names. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Yeah. You can't just like, like I'm going to draw, like pick from a list. Right. Uh, <laughs> Name generators I've heard can be can be quite fruitful, though. Uh, how do, how <laughs> do you get your band name? Uh, a, f a buddy was like, you guys should like, because we had a lot of working titles that were not really working out for Squir us. Squirrel Water Bucket Band. Squirrel Water Bucket Band was a cool <laughs> That was, that was <laughs> a, yeah. Turtle <laughs> Melon. Turtle Melon String Band. String Band. Still in the back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. We still think about rebranding every Richel now and then. Rich, Mitch, Mitch Richel and the Jads. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly. We were like 18, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were 18. <laughs> <And then laughs> but we jammed, we jammed a lot, right? Yeah. And so we kind of wanted to capture that, like that fun aspect of it. And so um, 
we didn't really want to be jam, but you know, <laughs> mar- marmalade like that has a fun kind of ring to it. And then our our buddy was like, uh, he kind of just carried the alliteration forward. He's like, you guys can be mama's marmalade. Mama's marmalade. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, thank you so much for your performance. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks so for having us. It was a blast. It was a really fun yeah. time. Yeah, Mama's Marmalade. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's great.